Hey there, Team Grimmy. Scott here. Guess what came in the mail today? Actually, UPS. The nostalgia package. I was actually outside when he drove up, too, so this didn't sit out in the sun for a second. Let's get this bad boy open. Don't worry, it's a really dull knife. I'm not gonna cut myself. I don't think this thing's been sharpened in 30 years. All right. Get that over here. Let's see. Just unfolds. Unfolds again, unfolds again. Is it looking good? Get this out of the way. Ta da! Wow. With love, Christina Grimm Grimmy signed. Christina Grimmy, all is. Christina Grimmy, all is vanity. Christina Grimmie signed. Limited edition. Oh, limited edition. I don't know if you can see that. Number 122 of 300. So let's get this off. Oh, no, it's not on the shrink wrap. That is on the box. Isn't this exciting? Watching me uh, take shrink wrap off. There we go. Number 122 out of 300. By the way, this isn't the first unboxing. Alicia, who's better known as Lemonade229 on YouTube, did a great unboxing video, and you need to watch it. I'm going to put the link down below. Uh, she's got a great personality and, and had all kinds of fun undoing this. Okay, got the box right about ready here. And let's lift it up. Ta-da! Oh, nice and black on the inside. All right. Now we've got a little, a little bag, a little baggie here, and it pulls apart. Okay, and unless Alicia hadn't, if she hadn't done her video, I wouldn't know what this is. This is a hairband, and it's green. Cool, little stretchy hairband. I would show you how to use it, but uh, one has to have hair to use one of these things. <laughs> okay. I'll get that back in later. In the t-shirt. Ta-da! Well, you guys have seen it before I do. Let's see if that's pretty cool. That really is pretty cool there. Same picture that's on the front is on the t-shirt with the keyboard. Always like that picture. It's kind of a grayish shirt with a picture on it. Nothing on the back. And it'll fit me. I'm getting bigger and fatter. It'll fit me. Cool. I like that. And this. I saw this on Alicia's unboxing. And this. 
is really cool. Uh, let's see if you can see that. That is a picture of Christina. It's made up of pictures of fans and Christina. Wow. Wow. This is pretty amazing. Oh, there's the little, little Ness. I don't know if you can see that little Ness picture. Grimmy rocks that I gave her at uh, the concert in February. All right, this is cool. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, at the end of this video, I will kind of do a slow pan with the camera in sections so you all can see if your picture is in here. Now, if you recall, Marcus, oh, a while back, well, let's see, last uh, August, asked for pictures of you and Christina and asked for, to send them in or tweet them or uh, whatever, but there were hundreds of pictures sent in. And I bet these pictures are part of what, what that is. So if you send a picture in to Marcus, it's probably in here. I actually found some pictures in here that uh, I did. One being that little nest poster thing that I showed you. The other being a picture of Christina and me uh, after the concert, uh, Rachel Platten here in Dallas. And that bluish rock finger, that picture right back there is in there. And that picture, I haven't found that one yet. I'll, I'll, I'll look for that one later, but I'm going to do a slow pan on this. You guys look to see if your picture is here. But this is really, really something else. I'm going to treat this very carefully. All right. And the piece de resistance. The album. All is vanity. And it too is shrink wrapped. And I'm going to open this up. Most of you are too young. If you're under the age of 30, you really didn't grow up with vinyl records and albums. And albums, we always really enjoyed albums for a number of reasons. One, Album art. Album art used to be a really big thing. Let's take a look at this one. This is, again, you've seen this one. This is the cover for All Is Vanity. And in the back, like they always used to do, a listing of tracks in production. Wow. And then on the inside, there's nice... Nice paragraph from the Grimmies. A couple paragraphs. I'll read through that and uh, quote you a few things from it. And, and I'll take a picture of this and put it at the end of the video too. Uh, I'll have pictures of all this stuff at the end of the video. And on this side, we have pictures of her. Oh, when she was young from The Voice. Two or three from The Voice when she's competing. This one when she came back to sing with love and then some pictures of her and her mom her dad and her brother and in between here are all the lyrics of the songs on the album okay I've read through this and in here they thank a lot of people because so many people go into making these things and so many people went into helping Christina become the super talent she was First and foremost, we thank God for Jesus, who blessed our Christina with many talents and through whom we have the hope of seeing her again. And of course, we thank Christina for all of her hard work, time, and effort working long hours and recording the music she left for us to share with the world. Another very important part of our motivation to accomplish this is due to the many amazing members of the Team Grimmy family. 
at you all. We've been inspired and uplifted time and time again with emails, notes, gifts, comments, and posts. So we, as a family, thank you one and all for your ever-present loyalty to our daughter and us. Thank you. Thank you. This project could not have been completed with such excellence without the devotion of so many. At the top of the list, we thank Stephen Reza, who oversaw the production from beginning to end and also wrote with Christina on three of the songs that she was so excited about, Invisible, Steady Love, and Sublime. Thanks, Stephen. We love you. And it goes on, and it's really touching, and again, that'll be at the end of the video. Album art was always so important, and, and it means so much, and that's one thing we've kind of lost with uh, digitally downloading. We've lost another p part of the art of music. Now for that album. Oops. Okay. Sometimes it, there we go. Albums came in a protective sleeve. And I'm going to tutor you a little bit about albums and how to take care of them. Because again, most of you don't know. Always store them in the sleeve. Always store them standing up. Not like this. And always, never, ever leave them in your car or leave them out in the sun. Otherwise, they'll end up looking like this. And that's not what you want. A warped record will not play well at all. And Alicia's video was very, very good. The only thing I will fault her on is when she picked up the record, she touched her thumb to the surface of it. Never ever touch your thumb or fingers to the surface of it. Always grab it by the edges. And as I was holding it, palm on the edge, fingers here. So you can hold it like that and not touch any of the grooves. And a little bit of trivia. You know how many grooves are on an album like this? You see all the, well, you see all those lines in there? You know how many grooves there are? Two. One continuous one in the front, one continuous one in the back. Okay, trick question. All right. All is vanity. Here it is. All is vanity, side A, in tiny. Boy, they always put small writing on here. Sublime, steady love, invisible, crowded room. And again, see, I'm not touching, I'm not touching the grooves. Side B, pressure. Maybe I, Echo, I only miss you when I breathe in the game. All right. Another thing about this, it's green and it's translucent. About 98% of the albums and individual records that were released were solid black. Every once in a while, we would get a translucent vinyl record. That was really cool and really special. So this gives it another level of speciality. I don't know if that's a word, but I just made it up. So that is really cool. And we're going to go ahead and play this. Uh, I'll probably end up recording that tomorrow because the record player I want to use is downstairs and then everybody's asleep and I wake them. So, so we'll, we'll try that tomorrow and I'm going to put it in here. But always, I'm going to put it back for now, store it in its sleeve. We're on plan B now because the radio slash turntable I was going to play it on a 1930s radio with 1960s turntable in it wasn't working. Neither one of them. Funny, I had only played it, what, 30 years ago, but it's not working now. So we're going to use this small little portable, which will sound like tin, just to get play a little bit of the record for you. 33 and a third revolutions 
per minute. Set that in there. Turn it on. And here we go. Kind of tinny, but what can I say? So that's the sample of this. Alrighty. So that's the unboxing. We had the album, this wonderful poster. t-shirt boy this will make about one two about four t-shirts I have now cool and the hairband now it's it's pretty pretty neat and symbolic and something kind of personal I think that's uh, pretty cool so that's the unboxing hope you've enjoyed it and I'm sorry they couldn't produce thousands of them so everybody could have one, but uh, hopefully this is the next best thing. So be sure to stay on afterwards and, and you'll see the scans of the, of the album and you'll also uh, see kind of a scan of the picture so you can look for your picture in there. So until next time, this is Scott signing off. Bye. Hit me like the big bang, green and like a flash flood. Threw me like a hurricane, now I got you in my blood. What a The rain no curse.